do you hear that? This reverb echoey effect at the very end is not a part of the original music. In fact, I added that effect in using Premiere Pro afterwards. If you're looking for a nice alternative to the simple music audio fade, well, this abrupt reverb punch is a great creative solution. So if you wanna learn how to do it yourself, let's hop into Premiere Pro. On the top track, we have all of our footage laid out, and here's the music on the bottom track. The first thing that we need to do is go to our razor tool and create a cut somewhere on the track so we can split this up. Hit V to bring up my selection tool and delete. Now to show you what this would sound like with just a normal audio fade, I'm going to right click on the end of the clip and go to apply default transition. This will add the crossfade right there, and here's how the end would sound. I mean, it works, but as you saw in the beginning of the video, it could be a little bit better creatively in my opinion. So I'm gonna delete that, zoom in, and I'm gonna add a little bit more music here to hear where we want to create or start the reverb. So it's right when it goes by the way, if you are confused as to why my audio waveforms look like this and not coming from the bottom, all I've done is go up here to the little hamburger menu and you can unclick rectified audio waveforms. So if you want it to look like it normally does, that's it right there. But I like viewing it in this form. I'll move my playhead to about right here and you could hit Command K to create a cut where the playhead is. Or again, we can just take the razor tool and create a cut on the track whatever's best for you. So I'm gonna hit V to bring back up my selection tool. And now we need to add another track to our timeline because we don't wanna put this reverb effect on the same track as our music. Otherwise, everything will be really echoey and reverby if reverby's a term. We just want it for a little abrupt period. So down here in this little negative space, I'm gonna right click, add tracks, and I will add a audio track. It also added a video track, that's fine, whatever floats the boat. So on this audio two, we want to bring up our audio track mixer. This is different than the audio clip mixer. So you wanna go up to window, audio track mixer, and the sequence that I'm working with is example. Obviously it's gonna be labeled different for whatever sequence you're working with. So I click this and we are now looking at the audio track mixer. Now over here is the audio clip mixer. Notice the difference with the audio track mixer that we have in effect insert. If I go back here to clip, it looks a little bit different. And if you don't see those, you just gotta click right here to see them in the menu. So what we're doing with the audio track mixer is applying the effect to the entire track, not just the clip. And this will allow us to have the reverb continue on after the original clip has ended. So with this clip, let me find a spot where I want it to end, right about there. And I'm going to get rid of the rest of the clip. And now what I want to do is move our edited clip down to track two or audio two. Click that and hold option and do down on the arrow key. If you were on Windows, you could do Alt in the arrow key down. So in order to add the reverb effect to this track, we're gonna go up to our audio two, slot one. And with this little arrow down key, we're going to go to reverb, studio reverb. In order to see the parameters, we need to double click the effect inside this little slots menu right there. Let's go ahead and listen to what it's done. So notice that the playhead stopped right at the end. It didn't continue on. The effect was happening, but it's so short, we can't really hear it. So in order to overcome this, what we need to do is create kind of like a fake video right here so it extends the playtime. So in order to do that, I'm gonna go back over to my project bin, create a new item. So right here, this little icon is create a new item. Things that would work here are an adjustment layer, black video or transparent video. For this, maybe I'll just add a transparent video. Bring that onto the timeline. Now, if we wanna hear even more reverb, we need to go up here to the decay and just crank that guy. So we're gonna crank the decay and now listen to it. Oh yeah, boy. We are getting into it now. If we raise the wet, this is what we'll get. <laughs> That's huge and in your face. It's such a cool effect. Now, if you want to fade that out quicker, but you still want to have the attributes of the that huge reverb, it's easy to fade it out in the cut. I'm gonna take my transparent video and move it here and then hit play just so you can see how it sounds.
Now, the reverb was huge there. The only issue was the play had stopped and the effect was still happening at full volume. If you want to fade out the effect, here's how you would do it. We have a little thing called show keyframes, this icon right here. If you do not see that, you can right click, go to customize, and then find this little show keyframes and bring it onto your track. Underneath the show keyframes menu, what you're accustomed to seeing is the clip keyframes. But for this, we want to show the track keyframes and the volume to be more specific. And you should notice that even if you don't have any clips right here in the negative space, you still see the volume line. Hold command on Mac or control on Windows and click the line. And I'm gonna create keyframes to fade this out. There's my first one. And I'll hold command again to add my second one. And now I'm gonna click and drag that down. And here is our fade out. Now listen to what happens at the end. And that is one cool creative way to add a reverb punch or cut to abruptly end your music inside your edits. If you're curious about other things within Premiere Pro that pertain to editing music, I have a whole playlist about it right here. And don't forget, if this video was helpful, please hit that like button. Until next time, my name's Javier Mercedes, and I hope you're out there living a life of abundance. Bye.